This is a video that Wendy has been bugging me to do. She doesn't very often suggest video ideas for me. So I'm pretty sure that this is just a problem she wants me to take care of. Flies have become an increasing problem out here as we've gotten more animals on the homestead. We're going to try and fight fire with fire by having bugs eat the flies. They're called fly exterminators, and I won't try to pronounce the scientific name. They're nocturnal, and they're not supposed to bother humans or animals, but they are supposed to be effective against 95% of the flies out there. They arrive in the pupa stage like this, so they should be pretty easy to handle and distribute. Sorry if there's a little too much wind noise. It's a little breezy out here right now. There's two ways to release these fly exterminators. We're gonna be doing both methods out here at the quail hutch. You can simply sprinkle them near animal dung and cover them up lightly to protect them from birds or you can use these little release bags that I pre-filled and hang them up high enough so that squirrels and other animals won't disturb them. One thing I forgot to mention when first shooting this video, I chose this location because it's also close to our compost bins. And the compost bins are another really good area to fight flies. Because I've pre-filled these release bags, I know how much extra I have. And there's one other location that I want to try burying them in the ground. So we'll do that one next. Out here by the back deck is where Wendy does her milking. And that's a lot of times where the flies are really bad. So I wanted to make sure we had some of these fly exterminators out here for her. The goat stalls are a natural place to put these things because that's where a lot of the flies will be. I can't bury these things in the ground because we clean out the stalls and then we'd just be shoveling out these good bugs and they wouldn't do us any good at that point. So definitely the release bags for in here.
There's one for the boy goat shelter as well. What do you think, Stryker? What do you think, Stryker? Are you gonna be happy to have fewer bugs? Fewer bugs? We, of course, have flies out here at our chicken coop, so I wanted to put the very last bag here. Because I don't want the chickens to eat the good bugs, it's on the outside of the coop, not the inside of the coop or the run. Hopefully we'll get the benefit of getting rid of these flies for the chickens and for us. Since we're out here at the chicken coop, I wanted to share something that I've been on the lookout for. We have a tiny egg. This is probably the first egg laid by one of our hens that were hatched right at the new year. There's no there's nothing to be concerned about. It's perfectly normal. New layers oftentimes just take a little while to develop. These eggs, sometimes called fairy eggs, will oftentimes not have a yolk. Let's see if this one does. Oh, there is a yolk. Chicken's lucky day. It's kind of insect related, so I wanted to include this bit in the video. As you can see, I've been chopping up more firewood here. Because we don't want to encourage termite habitat right up next to the wood siding on our house, I've stacked it over here. Right along the brick planter, and it's conveniently located near our fire pit for future fires. Wendy didn't want me to block the light from her planter, so I only stacked it this high. Basically, I've been chopping off the thicker ends of the branches and then taking the thinner parts round to different places for chipping and shredding later. Here's one of the piles. It's kind of nice to see the goats enjoying some of these branches before I get to this pile. Sorry if earlier in the video I seemed a little tired and unfocused. The day before I had got my second dose for the COVID-19 vaccine and I was just a little wiped out. I'm feeling a lot better today in addition to the fly exterminator bugs, which are supposed to be effective at killing the flies during one of their life cycles, we're also gonna be putting out some fly traps 
to catch some of the older ones. This one already has its first guest. I've got this one here right between our chickens and the boy goats. There'll be another one out on the back deck and one out front near our rabbits. Just for good measure, I've also set up our bug zapper again. If you've had to deal with a lot of bugs, there's something pretty satisfying when you hear this thing doing its job. <laughs> 